sometimes news comes to you in the strangest of ways. I'm going to take you with me today. It is Saturday and I'm going to be out working all day. And hold on a second. I'm not going to take this. $2.26. No. Um, let me pause it for a minute. I'm going to take you with me today doing my Ubering and Grubhub. And uh, I'm going to try to actually forget about what I accidentally discovered this morning. So if you are interested in finding out, just stick with me for this. Um, maybe a little bit longer because of the Ubering, but I'll get to the stuff that came as a surprise to me relatively early in the process. So thanks for coming by and thanks for hanging around with me. All right, I got a phone call last night from a friend of mine who was really upset about a phone call that he had gotten from one of his doctors. And the phone call said it was not from the doctor, it was from staff. And the message was that he needed to come in and talk to the doctor after the results of his recent MRI. And um, he was nervous about it. And here it was Friday night. And as always happens when something happens over the weekend or when you can't reach somebody to resolve anything, you sit and worry about it. So I remembered that he had, uh, he had his MRI done at Zwanger and they have a portal. He's not too good with um, technology. So I offered to go in and take a look at it if that's what he wanted me to do and that he would be on the line with me and I would read him exactly what it said, which is what I did. And what it said was that uh, there were a couple of um, nodules in his lungs that small nodules and it just said that uh, they suggested a follow-up with a, a CT scan just for further evaluation. So he was really, really upset about it and I didn't know that until this morning because he told me he didn't sleep all night. So in an effort to make him feel better and not worry, I said it's very common at this age as we get older to have nodules and I said let me go in and I'll, I'll read you the results of my own CAT scan from the other day which by the way I hadn't looked at. I didn't look at it because when Dr. Crago came in um, apparently the results were not yet in in terms of the report. She did see the pictures and everything looked good I guess but then again, she's a surgical oncologist and not a radiologist. So um, I hadn't looked at, at the CT scan. My plan was to do it, but when she gave me the good bill of health, I didn't bother to look at it. So I took a look at it this morning because I wanted to help him. And when I started to read it, everything looked good. You know, they have all the different areas that they were checking. They were talking about um, my uh, my lungs and they were talking about, and they, there was nothing. Then they came to the bone and soft tissue and it mentioned that there was a two centimeter nodule in the site where I, the surgical site. And I looked at it and I said, oh my God. And it said, suggestive of a recurrence. I don't have to tell you how I felt when I saw that. And I thought, oh my God, I had the surgery in June. It is now February, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. It's only eight months. And there was a two centimeter nodule that they saw. They said there's no evidence of metastasis, which is good, but I don't want it back. I can't, I'm not ready to deal with it. 
I just need time to heal. And now instead of him being nervous, I'm nervous and it's Saturday and I can't reach the doctor until at least Monday. So I'm sure she's gonna want me to go for, it said to have a, an MRI with contrast and see what's going on. I don't know that I can face the possibility of this again. I'm trying so hard to come back to some semblance of a normal life. Life can be really tough. Anyway, I decided to come out and work today because I'm going to do that and I'm going to make sure that I just keep busy and don't spend the weekend thinking about it. I'm going to do the best I can until Monday because worrying about something I have no control over is not a good idea. So come hang out with me if you will and let's go Ubering. Oh, by the way, a little prayer that it turns out to be nothing would be much appreciated. So if you can do that for me, thanks so much. I've got my fingers and toes crossed. Okay, we just got a, an offer of $6.36, 2.7 miles. Ugh. It's going just 2.7 miles, but it's on Merrick Road and South Ocean Avenue. And that could be difficult parking. I'm gonna pass on that one. I'm gonna wait for the next one. I would have liked to take that one, but I am afraid of the delivery. If it's in an area where it's hard for me to park, it's not worth it. Although manifesting parking spaces has been working really well for me. So I'm gonna to continue to do that and see how well it plays out. So far, every single time I did it, it worked. Every single time. Fingers crossed that that's the way it is. But manifestation is a powerful, powerful thing. Okay, here's another one. This one's not gonna work. This is $9.47, going 14.3 miles into Queens, into an area I don't wanna go to anyway, and it means I don't want to pick anything up on the way back. Instead of 14 miles, it's going to be 28 and a half miles for $9.47. So that's a no. Okay, I just got another offer that I can't take. $7.19 for two. It's going 17.8 miles. That makes zero sense. At least the sky is a gorgeous blue. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Okay, I love this flavored water. I don't know how good it is for me, but I love it. Black cherry today. Oh, I think I'm getting nervous. I'm munching. Not that I'm hungry, I'm just munching. Come on, give me something good. Or at least doable. Yeah, I must be nervous. I can't stop munching. <laughs> oh, this was not even open. Oh, here we go. $10.19. No. Going 15 and a half miles. They're not giving me anything viable at all. 1961 for 2.4 miles. I'm taking that one. It can't be real though. Can't be real. It sounds like a stolen food offer. What happens sometimes is if somebody takes the order and then steals it and never delivers it, they keep sending it out to other drivers. There is no way in hell. I'm going, but there's no way in hell that this is real. All I'm gonna wind up making is $3 because I get there and it's gonna be no real order. But we'll find out soon enough. 
something. I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to make the next left. It can't be real. $19.61 for a single order from Chipotle. Mm -mm. I don't think so. But it was worth driving the short distance to Chipotle to see if it is real. And if it's not, I'll get $3 for driving over there. I'll have to call support. But it is what it is, right? It is what it is. I cannot see a thing from the side street. So there is no way for me to make a left turn here. I'll have to wait for the light. Huh. Would be nice if it was real to start with $19 and change. That would be decent. It was for two point something miles. But nope, it's just not how it goes. We'll see. I'm going to try to be optimistic and say maybe for some reason it's real. We'll see. Oh, now Grubhub. Get, they do this all the time. $6.18 for only one point something miles, and I have to reject it because I'm on another job, unfortunately. I hate to reject it because their stuff is real and most of the time short distance. So it is what it is. I waited for such a long time for anything decent to come in, and this, if it's real, is really good. If it's not real, it's really bad. <laughs> But it's okay. Either way, I'm curious now. All right, almost there. Curiosity has the better of me. If this turns out to be real, I'll be very happy. Oh, we'll find out in a minute. I'll be right back. Okay. First one is dropped off. I still don't understand it, and I think I think it's going to wind up being a mistake. There is no way that that could be $19. It was a very small order on a very short distance delivery. It doesn't make sense. All right, my second pickup is at Ramos Pizza, and it's going into East Meadow, seven miles. But East Meadow is fine. It's close to home turf and we'll be good. Alright, so if this turns out to be real, that would have been $19 and change. And this one was eight high eights. So it would be like $28 so far. That would be good, especially since I'm having trouble walking today. So I don't know how long I'm going to be able to be out. I have to go two tenths of a mile to pick up the second one. That'll be coming up soon. Wow. I don't feel great today. Well, maybe I'm, maybe it's because I'm nervous. I hope everything is okay. I really hope. I walked out of there the other day feeling good, feeling like I had four months to kind of chill and relax about it. And now I don't have any time at all because it could, could be back. I hope not. But they said there's a nodule that was not there before and it is there now. So there's something going on. It's nothing. Just don't want any more tension. There has been such incredible tension in my world on so many levels going into this parking lot. I will not do pickups anymore in Freeport unless they, I can't see the traffic. This is just swell. Oh dear. 
almost, almost, son of a sea cook. This guy just decided to go really fast, not to let me get in. Um, if it's parking on the street, I will not make a pickup because I got two tickets months ago. Um, and apparently people are saying it's a regular stream of revenue for them. Not good. It's really not good. Wow, this whole parking lot is crowded. I'm going to try to take this spot. This guy just got out of, if I can do that. All right, hopefully this pickup will be ready and we can head over to the next delivery. Fingers crossed. Okay, that was ready, so that was pretty good. I am going to East Meadow, 6.3 miles. Oh, what a delivery. Just wish my legs didn't hurt so much and that I could actually walk. That would be a gift. It's amazing the things we take for granted till we can't. On my way to East Meadow, I actually didn't have lunch today before I started, so I'm gonna have to stop somewhere to get something or stop at home, but I really don't want to break the momentum because at least it might have been a slow start, but at least it was a start. And once it did, it was two pretty good offers. Again, the first one, I don't understand how it's that kind of money. There has to be a mistake. But if it's real, as I say, we're talking about somewhere around $28. And I started at one and it is, or a couple of minutes to one, and it's now 136. So it'll take a few minutes for me to get over and make this drop off. It says 13 minutes, but even so, that's less than an hour to make $27, $28 very unusual here. At least for me, the way it's been going this year. Last year was infinitely better. As I said, last year I could easily make $200 a day on a weekend day. The sky is a beautiful blue. I don't even see any clouds in the sky today. It's wonderful. What a difference from the last long period of time it feels like. This is beautiful. I wonder if I should take this to be a sign that it's going to be okay with me too. If I told it, it's something making it positive. It's I, I don't want to say it's scary, but I have to be honest, it's scary. shoot. Well, okay, if you can manifest things like parking spots or things of a positive nature, why can I not work on this as well? I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Maybe this is a test. Wow, this woman, I don't know if it's her hair no, it is her hair. Um, she, it, it's like a coppery orange color. It's an unusual color for hair, but it's a pretty color. Real coppery orange with lots of shine in it. I don't know, maybe it's a wig mixed in, but it definitely looked like her hairline in the front. Yeah, it's gonna take me on the parkway, which is exactly what I thought. today was only to work until maybe 6 o'clock, 6.30, the latest. If it keeps going the way it is now, that is a possibility. So that would be nice. I still don't get it. Why would that girl pay that kind of money for a very small order 
She's somebody who works in a local store. I don't, it doesn't add up. If she did, it's an incredible gift from me, but kind of be a mistake. People talk about tip baiting. It, it really hasn't happened to me. The only time I had a tip taken away was some woman who clearly had a plan um, months and months ago. It was the only time. And she started to text me before I even picked up the order and said, where are you? And I said, I have not picked up your order yet, but I'm about to, and within a couple of minutes, she said to me, I see you're not moving. And I thought, okay, this is really strange. And she wound up giving zero tip. So clearly that was her plan from the beginning. It was a pickup that I made in Long Beach and the delivery was to Oceanside. If I ever got a delivery to that address again, I would not do it. I just would not do it. Because she, this was this was definitely pre-planned. So, you know, I guess that would be a possibility with this also, but as, as I say, since it's not happened to me, except for one time in all the deliveries I've made, I don't think, I don't think it's the way it's going to be. I guess we'll find out. Okay, I'm headed on the parkway. Good. And the parkway looks wide open. 5.1 miles to my delivery. Most of it is going to be on the parkway. We're almost there. 700 feet to the turn and four tenths of a mile to the delivery. I'm so glad to be doing this in daylight. It makes all the difference in the world. There's this guy standing in the street, bent over, tying a shoelace. Why not do that up on the curb? Almost there. That pizza smelled so good. Wow. Okay. Close. Confirm delivery and complete delivery. Son of a gun. Let me see what it shows me for earnings so far. It is showing. This is the other end of the spectrum. They want me to deliver two things for $4.81 and to go 8.3 miles. And going back to Hicksville, uh, I don't think so. Son of a gun, that's a no. All right, I'm gonna go pick up something for lunch. What am I gonna have for lunch? I have to tell you, this is unbelievable. It looks like my earnings are showing up it's already showing up as $23 and change today. This was a gift. This was a gift. Wow. Oh my God. That is amazing. 
that first one is showing up. The estimate for this trip was $19.61, including the tip. Look, that's amazing. That's amazing. Wow. I'm shocked, thrilled, happy. I can afford lunch. <laughs> Son of a gun. Okay, and I expect an extra $5 for this one. All right, this one is $5.09. This is a pickup at Walmart. That's a no most of the time, but to do $5.09 to go $7. 0.7 miles in the middle of a Saturday? No, thank you. I am going to go get food. What am I getting? What should I get? What will be the least? I know. I think I'm going to go. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is two? No, no, no. I'm not doing two for $6.35. Not happening. That's a no thank you. Nope. I think I'm gonna go over to Uncle Giuseppe's because they have their hot bar and maybe I'll get like a regular meal for lunch. I'll get a little salad with it. Maybe get a piece of chicken or some pasta. Let's give that a try. Let's head on over there. See what happens. So I think it's going to be a mixed bag today. Some of it's really good and some of it's really not so good. But I'm going to try to focus on the good stuff. Three dollars and six cents is a no. Nope. $8.34 for two. Qdoba. Six miles total. No, I want to get lunch. I'm going to head on in. I'm going to try to make this fast and I'll be right out. Okay, they didn't have the usual stuff that I would have picked up for lunch. So I just got a little bit of Caesar salad and I got a rotisserie chicken, which means I have to stop back at the house and put it in the fridge. But at least it's something to eat and they had some beautiful strawberries while I was in there, so I picked up that as well. So just gonna grab a bite right now and I will catch up with you in a couple of minutes. out to be a really good lunch. I enjoyed that a lot. I wound up having rotisserie chicken. I'm headed home to put the rest of it away. And I had Caesar salad with it. I love Caesar salad. And I had my flavored water to drink. So it was all good. And they had a sale in there on strawberries. They have the most beautiful fruit and vegetables and Uncle Giuseppe's really wonderful. So I didn't turn the app back on yet. I will have taken a huge long break, but it's okay. I wasn't feeling great to begin with, and I had a good start monetarily to the day. So hopefully I'll at least get my $100 for the day, and we'll take it from there. Okay, I'm just gonna bring this stuff upstairs, and I'll be right out and back to work. See you in a minute. Okay, I put the stuff away, so I will now have some rotisserie chicken to eat for the next couple of days, which is good. I'll make some more vegetables. I'm heading on back toward town to try to see what else I can pick up. And now I'm free to go for the rest of the session that I do today. So let's see what we can pick up. I'm going back online. At least I'm trying. Unable to go online. It wants me to do something first. 
they might want me to take a picture of myself, which they do often, just to make sure that it's me and my account, which is fine. I'm happy to do that. Oh, take a photo of yourself. Yeah, it's just the usual. Let's see. I'm glad it was only that. Thanks for verifying. Okay, at least I can get back on the line and get to work. Hopefully. So we shall see. Oh, you son of a sea cook. Didn't let me go. And now there is a truck blocking me from going, so tis what it is. This guy's gonna have to wait because I am pulling out, like it or not, my dear. Okay. All right, let's see what I can pick up. The Caesar salad with the chicken was such a nice choice for lunch. It was one of the healthier choices. And uh, salad was good. Dressing was a little tart, but nice. I enjoyed it a lot. I didn't get too much because it looked a little bit limp and I didn't know how it would go, but I'm so glad I got it. There's a guy running down the street. He's jogging 565 for seven miles. That's a no. No, the numbers don't work. Less than a dollar a mile it doesn't work. So we'll wait to see what else pops up. Hopefully something better. Yeah, I'd like to get something at least close to $10. This is 529 going to Belmore. Paquito, 1.2 miles match. I might as well. Might as well. I didn't get it. Okay, so much for that. So I tried. I tried. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Nine dollars and five cents to go 11 miles into Hempstead. 42 minutes delivering two. That makes no sense. That would be like, I don't know, maybe $12, $13 an hour. No, that doesn't work. Okay. <sighs> Just going to wait for something. Hopefully something good will come along. I'm taking this. It's really cheap. It's only 1.4 miles and I am literally outside of the parking lot for the place for the pickup. Only $4, but it's 1.4 miles, so that'll work. Would be nice if I got some kind of an add-on. That would be good. Okay, I'm just gonna go in, get my pickup, and be headed over. I'll be right back. Okay, that one wasn't ready, but it did not take long, so I'm on my way. I've got 1.3 miles to the delivery. Gray house with the black driveway. Okie dokie. I will be on my way searching for GPS. It's a really quick drop off. As I say, it's really inexpensive, but it will bring me up to $32.
and change at 3.25 in the afternoon. Um, I took a lot of time off when I went to pick up lunch and then when I sat and ate it and I went home to drop the stuff off in the fridge. This is awful with the sun shining. It makes me look freaky, kind of. Um, so it really, I've been working a very short time today. I did from two to three-ish, three to six. I'm just picking it up again. This is my first pickup. So in essence, I kind of blew about a half hour. It actually was a few minutes to three, so it's just, just about a half hour. It's funny the things we take for granted. I used to walk across busy streets, never giving it a second thought. Even if you were at a traffic light, I would be afraid to do it today because I walk slowly and I'd be afraid to get caught in the middle when the light changes. So it's, life is different. It really is, you have to accommodate the differences. But you have to be grateful for what you do have not kind of missing what you don't have. It's all a process. I just hope I can retain what I've got as of now. Four tenths of a mile and I will be at the drop off. So that was quick. It's really pretty down here right down by the water. It's the end of the peninsula, this part of it. Wow, huge house in front of me. I wish I had the camera set up that way, but I'm gonna have to wait until I can get a different setup in here first. cul-de-sac. Looks like it's down at the end of the cul-de-sac. Let's see. It does appear to be. The gray house with the black... The gray house with the black driveway. Is this a black driveway? There are two houses next to each other that both look gray with, a, with an asphalt driveway. Oh well. We'll find out. It's one of these. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, that one is delivered. Oh, it looks like it, they just took it in. So that's good. And I'm on my way back to see what else I can pick up. Okay. of 257 miles so I'll be okay for today and then we'll see what happens for tomorrow right. $9.71 for two going four miles yeah I think I'm going to take that one I, I just passed the place so I'm going to have to go around the corner Is the way it is. So yeah, I'll go around the corner. Would be very nice if I had both pickups in the same place, but the likelihood of that is not great. So let's see. Yes, they're both at the same place. That's a gift. 
and then I go four miles for the delivery. That's good. And it's nine dollars and seventy-one cents. So it what was I up to? Twenty-eight, thirty-two, forty-one, about forty-two dollars so far. And it is it is a three thirty-seven. So that's pretty good. It's off hours anyway, but that's pretty good. So I'm happy for that. Okay, heading into the parking lot. And I have two orders to pick up. Okay. All right, I'm going to go get my two orders and I'll be right back. That was easy because they were both ready. They were both on the shelf. Checked them both out, verified they were both right. Meet at the door. Okay. Let's see where we're going. It's 1.8 miles to the first drop off. That's good. Okay. Let's go. So let's get this one delivered. It's a meet at the door. I wonder if they if I have a no, it doesn't say I need a pin, but meet at the door. 1.1 mile to the drop off. All right, I've got three tenths of a mile to my drop off. First one, and then the second. All right, this one is, who is it? Adriana. Okay, going to drop off Adriana's food. I'll be right back. Okay, the first one is, first delivery is completed. And the second one is 2.2 miles from here. So let's see what the instructions are on that one. Leave at the door. It's the house with the rocking chairs in front. Sounds good to me. Steep, steep. Hill. I'll be right back to leave at the door. Okay, I had to walk up one, two, three shallow steps, but no really. I'm fine going up. I'm always nervous coming down. All right, I'm not taking a photo on that because I handed it Did it to him so it's done and delivered. Okay. Unlock. Oh, unlock diamond. I'm a long way from any of those big time things. Okay, going back down the hill. Better in the car than trying to navigate it by on foot. It's amazing. The things that you never think about when you're able bodied. But when you're not, they become a major issue. Major, major, major. Okay, and here we go. I can't see anything. The sun is in my eyes. This is so not fun. So not fun. I wish you could see the steps in front of his house. Oh my God. One, two, three, four, five with no railing, very shallow steps, dangerous beyond belief, absolutely dangerous, OMG. This vlog was way too long. Had to split it in two. Stay tuned for part two.